What does it take to create an irresistible offer? That is an offer for your business, for your products, your services that bring in the maximum amount of leads, customers, sales, and profits in a minimum length of time. Well, there's actually seven dimensions to it. And I'm going to share those dimensions with you today using leveraging some lessons that I've learned from Eugene Schwartz, J. Abraham, Dan Kennedy, and I'll probably throw a few others in while we go. Uh, now, this is a big topic and I wanna cover it fast for you, so let's dive in. Number one, a an irresistible offer is a clear solution to your prospect's problem. Now, anytime we're talking about problems, we need to look at Eugene Schwartz's market awareness model, and that is, any market, as well as any prospect within a market, is going to go through a process, going from unaware of whatever it is to aware of a problem that they want to have solved, to looking for what a solution is going to look like for that problem, to aware of specific solutions, specific products and services, to looking for a very specific deal. Uh, for, in order to get one of those solutions, their preferred solution. and. In order for any good product or service to exist in the marketplace, it really, it really, really, uh, it's critical that it actually solves a, a clear problem and that you are able to point out, okay, if you have this problem, I have a superior solution to that problem and here's why. So you need a clear solution to the prospect's problem. And when I say problem, I'll, I'll note here, sometimes the problem is that they don't feel like they have enough opportunity in their life. So there are opportunities as well as problems. It's either a, a, an actual problem that they're facing or it's an unfulfilled need, want, or desire. So you have to have a clear presentation of that market awareness spectrum. Okay, you have that problem. Here's the solutions. Here's what you need to consider in terms of a solution. Uh, here, here is our specific solution and how it meets those criteria. And here's the deal that we have for you. You need that clear presentation. It should connect their problem to your particular solution and it should present the offer in a clear way. So number one, clear solution to the prospect's problem. Number two, your offer needs to offer it needs to give the prospect, give the buyer a great value versus the cost, the amount of money that they are investing in it. And here we turn to uh, Jay Abraham and his concept of dimensionalized value because Jay, when he presents an offer, is incredible about, for example, taking something like this. Like if, if I were trying to sell you seven dimensions of an irresistible offer, I could just say like, oh, here's here's a here's a, a mind map that I put together and it's a, a one page worksheet and it's really simple. And that sounds really cheap and perhaps something that I should give away free like I'm doing in this video. But if I really wanted to make it feel valuable, I could talk about the uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in paid traffic testing this, the, uh, the 15 years of cumulative experience that I have put into developing not just the one, two, three dimensions of a great offer, but the seven dimensions of an irresistible offer. I could talk about all of the uh, billions of dollars of market research that have, uh, that, have, that have come together and accumulated in my awareness, in my marketing education, in order to deliver this. And uh, Jay is incredible at that, at looking at the different ways that value is added into something to further justify, to, to increase the perception of value, um, backed up by real value, of course, but the perception of value uh, to make it overwhelmingly in the prospect's favor. So if you could save 15 years of marketing education, if you could tap into billions of dollars of sales generated, if you could if you could tap into hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars of paid traffic, and how that adds up to creating an irresistible offer, doesn't that sound like it's worth a lot more than that single piece of paper with a list of seven items on it? So you wanna compare the great value versus versus their cost, and the value can be versus other options, versus trying to figure it out themselves, versus doing nothing, not actually solving the problem. You need to do as much as you can to present the value in a way where the perception of value is, is incredibly high and it, it should be especially high, like if, if you imagine the scales of justice and um, weighing on one side is the perceived value and on the other side is the cost. And if this is the cost, it should be much lighter than the perceived value that they're getting out of, uh, out of falling through on whatever deal you have for them today. 
So we have number one, you present a clear solution to the prospect's problem. Number two, you offer a great value versus the cost that they're going to invest in it. Number three, you should offer an attractive discount or premium. And here we get into specifically making an offer today in order to generate response today. Uh, so what we're doing by offering an attractive discount or a premium, a bonus, whatever you want to call that, um, is we are, we are giving them a reason we're establishing a reason for them to respond now and um, not only that we're actually improving the value to cost ratio so if if we've presented okay there's this you know you're getting you're getting this this huge let's see if it's heavy you're getting the huge value over here right uh, and your cost is not very much well if your cost is even less then the value to cost ratio is bigger if your value is even more if the cost is the same uh, then you're again improving the value to cost ratio. You're what you're doing is you're just continuously making it feel like they're getting an even better and even better and even better deal. So number one, your your product or service itself should should be that clear solution to the prospect's problem. Number two, it should already have a great value to cost ratio, meaning the value that they're going to get out of out of it is way more than the amount of money that they're going to have to put into it. Number three, it should it should come with an attractive discount or premium that only exists for a limited time to give them a reason to respond now Number four, we need to give a strong reason why for the deal now Dan Kennedy is great about this his teaching is great about this uh, it, Basically everything that you do every sale that you offer should be some version of a fire sale or first time ever last time ever there should be something that makes this time special unique and justifiable if not logical that's it's very important language there you you may justify the sale because hey it's labor day weekend and we're running a labor day weekend sale that's really popular in the in the consumer goods like furniture and appliances that sort of thing labor day sales big thing fourth of july sale big thing black friday cyber monday all these things that they justify the sale just by pointing to a couple days on a calendar and that's not really logical Maybe Black Friday, Cyber Monday, all of that is logical relative to Christmas coming up, but it's justifiable nonetheless. They are justifying the sale by making a decision about how they position it. And the great thing about this, when you, when you offer a strong reason why for your deal, it allows you to set up a deadline. It allows you to set up a time after which they're not going to get that attractive discount or the premium. So we're talking about offers. We're talking about an offer that's going to get the maximum number of leads, customers, sales, and profits to come to you in minimum time. So you want to give them a great deal that they can't get after a specific length of time. Because let's be honest, we all procrastinate. We all don't take actions that we know we want to take, that we know we should take. We all do not follow through with things that we know we should follow through on. And that applies just as much to your prospects deciding whether or not they're going to buy your product or service as it applies to anything else in life. Um, probably more so because that that act of actually pulling out their wallet now mine happens to be sitting next to me not in my back pocket but that act of pulling out their wallet pulling out their credit card giving you that money that is an act that inherently has resistance it has inertia there's 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 this uh, uncertainty in it that is this going to be a good investment and so you need to do things to actually take, uh, actually, uh, John Carlton says, think of your prospect as like a somnambulant sloth spread out on their couch at home. And in order to respond to their, to your offer, they have to like drag themselves up. I'm thinking uh, Jabba the Hutt from Star Wars, right? He has to like get up and he has to go across the room and he has to slide across the room and he has to go over there to the other side of the room to the drawer. And granted, this is a direct mail metaphor, but he has to like pull the envelope out of the drawer with his with his small arms and his big body. And he has to like pull the envelope out and pull out the stamps and he has to fill out the order form and... It, your prospect needs a reason to act with urgency. You need to give them that reason to act with urgency. And that comes beginning with your justification for the deal. So up next, directly, like the, 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 
the next dimension, number five, is urgency. So we have a clear solution to the prospects problem. We have a great value versus cost ratio. We have an attractive discount or premium. We have a strong reason why for offering this deal, and we have urgency. That is, there's going to be a deadline. There's going to be a limited quantity. There's going to be perhaps market factors, some date by which they have to respond before the market changes all of the above, maybe there's personal factors, you have to come up with a very clear reason for urgency. Uh, this is half the reason that I love things like event campaigns or webinars, that sort of thing, because there's a built-in urgency element. There's a built-in deadline because a date's going to happen and you either signed up or you didn't. So urgency. The next dimension is a clear call to action, CTA. And Dan Kennedy is, uh, once again, one of the best about this because he makes no qualms about selling. He makes no qualms about telling you exactly what you need to do to take advantage of his, of his offer to get that great value versus the cost that you're going to put into it. You need to be confident that for the right prospect who you've laid out in your presentation, somebody that has that problem, that you have a clear solution to that problem, you need to be confident that your offer is the right thing for them. You need to be confident that that if they get your offer, they're going to get what you promise, or at least they have the capability to do it if they actually use your product or service. Um, be clear about what they need to do. What is the next step that they need to take? Here's my call to action, it's uh, order now. No, you need to click this button, it's gonna take you to an order form. Be sure you have your wallet and credit card handy because we're going to need you to fill out your payment information so we can get this rushed out to you and you're gonna need to get that in by X date because if you don't get that in by X date, you're going to miss out completely. Oh, and by the way, we have, but you can, you can, you can, uh, you can stack these things up. By the way, we also have this additional fast responder bonus. The first five people who respond get this. So be clear about what to do. Be clear about the experience of responding. Like I just laid out, like this is what the order form is going to look like. This is what's going to happen after you order. The more clarity that you can provide, especially if this is their first time ordering from you, especially if what you're selling is a little bit different than what they normally buy. So like somebody that's used to buying consumer products, physical goods, and they buy an information product, that experience might feel a little bit different. And if you're expecting them to go through that, you need to be clear about what to expect. And then be unwaveringly direct in asking them to take action. Like pick up your pen fill out the order form, stick a stamp on the envelope, put it in the envelope and s drag it out to your mailbox right now. I don't care if it's raining or snowing. I don't care if the sun is beating down and it's 100 degrees outside and 100% humidity. Take that order form to your mailbox in the envelope and put the flag up because that's the moment that your life is going to begin to change. That's the moment. So, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just coming up with this off the top of my head, but that's the kind of, of confident and of unwaveringly direct calls to action that you need to build in if you really want the maximum number of leads, customers, sales, and profits from your offer in the minimum time. Now, the seventh dimension of an irresistible offer is risk reversal. Now, that's a term that comes directly from Jay Abraham. And Jay teaches and taught that a guarantee is not enough. A guarantee is like a bare minimum. In fact, in many businesses, you may or may not be required by law to guarantee your products, to issue a refund if somebody is not happy. However, you will be much better off if you present that in just as confident of a way as you did with your call to action. Now, I'm not going to go into the exceptions here, but for the most part, you want to make it as a zero risk or negative risk as possible for someone to respond. So at a bare minimum, remove the risk. Hey, if you're not happy for any reason, just give us a call. We'll issue a prompt and courteous full refund of, of every penny you spent today and you're out nothing, right? The, the flip side, even better, is to actually reverse the risk. And so offer them something of value that they get to keep if they ask for a refund, something where maybe perhaps they decide that the main product isn't right for them, but this extra thing of value is still right for them. And so it's great that they get to keep it, 
uh, whether whether or not they decide to keep the main product and get a full refund. Or you'll see in many cases, like come to my seminar, if you are not happy by the end of the first day, what I'll do is I will cut you a check at the end of the first day. Let us know. I'll cut you a check and it's, go it's going to be for the full price that you invested in coming, plus an extra $1,000 to cover flights, hotels, all of that, so that you are absolutely out nothing and you actually get the, the benefit of the next couple days that you would have spent at the seminar as a great vacation instead. So risk reversal, reverse the risk of doing the transaction. The person who is willing to take on the most risk of the transaction is going to get the other person to do what they're asking them to do or the other people at the maximum level. And so if you have a wimpy guarantee, if you are unwilling to guarantee uh, that if somebody spends money with you, they're actually going to get the value that you promised, you're going to have a hard time selling. Whereas on the other end, if you are uh, so confident in your product or service being able to solve the solution to their problem, assuming that they're a qualified prospect and you should do things explicitly to state what makes a qualified prospect here, if you are that confident that you are going to solve their problem and that if they don't get a better than expected solution to their problem, they're going to get something that is of even more value in return, like that makes it so easy to sell. So I'm going to go back through the list here really quickly. Um, the seven dimensions of an irresistible offer uh, featuring wisdom from Eugene Schwartz, Jay Abraham, Dan Kennedy, uh, based on my experience, based on my studying people who have billions of dollars of sales, based on um, my working with clients generating well into the millions of dollars of sales. Number one, have a clear solution to your prospect's problem. Your product or service should be a clear solution and present it as a clear solution to their problem. Number two, you should offer a great value versus cost ratio, meaning the value that they get out of doing business with you is far more than you're asking them to spend. Number three, you should offer an attractive discount or premium, something that uh, allows you to create a deadline, create urgency, something that you can take away so that they have a, a, a time before which they have to respond. Number four, a strong reason why for offering a, a deal today. Give justification, if not like truly rational logic, for why you are offering them a better deal to respond now. Number five, urgency. Be explicit about when they need to respond by, what kind of limitations there are on the deal. Number six, a clear call to action with confidence, with uh, unwavering directness, telling them what they need to do, what their experience is going to be like, why they need to do it, all of that. Be direct about the action that they need to take. And number seven, the last, you need to reverse the risk of the transaction. Not just a guarantee, although a guarantee is a great starting point, not just a guarantee, um, remove the risk of the transaction, reverse the risk of the transaction, make it clear that whether or not they're happy with your product, they their life will have been better because they make the decision to move forward with your offer today. With that, um, I hope that you've liked this content, the seven dimensions of an irresistible offer. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. If you like the video, make sure you click like, you can uh, comment, you can, weigh in. You can ask questions about the content of this video or questions that you'd like to see covered in an upcoming video. You can share the video with friends, with coworkers, with colleagues, with people who you think would get value out of this content. And be sure to subscribe to get more content like this. I do these videos at least one a week covering marketing, copywriting, selling, business building, uh, personal development, and more for entrepreneurs, uh, marketer, marketers, and other high achievers. And really, I'm on a mission to help as many uh, value first, preeminent, uh, value oriented marketer entrepreneurs live happier, healthier, more prosperous and impactful lives through both growing themselves and growing their business. And so I'd love to have you join me in this movement, both through subscribing to me here, as well as you can go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com where I publish a daily essay or video. Uh, covering all of these topics, go to BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com. You can sign up there. You'll get all the, all the essays or articles and videos. And 
I look forward to seeing you again in your next video issue. I'm Roy Fur with Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I'll see you soon. Bye.